Size of Simple Shapes Part 2 Today we will learn how to measure how much space a shape occupies is if we do not have enough pieces to measure. Neha and Vandana, what would you like to learn today? No madam, we have not come to learn anything but to take something. Tell me what do you want? Madam, actually we need more of the plastic square shaped pieces you gave us to measure the shapes. Why? Because we are measuring our best but the pieces which you have given us are not enough. We are unable to cover the whole desk with them. You can measure the desk with them even without covering the entire desk. How? Let's go to your class. I will help you understand how we can measure your desk even if you don't have all the pieces. See madam, all the pieces have been used but we could not measure the desk. With so many pieces, we can easily measure the size of the desk. See, I will explain. To measure this shape, I will place these pieces on it. Vandana, now you tell us how many pieces were required to cover this shape completely. 4. Let me remove one of these pieces. Now Neha, you tell me, with the help of just 3 pieces, how can we know that 4 pieces will be required to cover this shape entirely? It is very easy. There is an empty space equal to one piece. So by looking at it, we can tell that four pieces will cover this shape completely. You can certainly find out by looking, but in mathematics there is a better way to find it. That I don't know ma'am. No problem, I will tell you. Tell me, how many pieces are placed in the top row? Two pieces, madam. Now, Neha, you tell me how many pieces are placed in the side row? Madam, the side row also has two pieces. You both are right. Now, we will multiply the number of pieces placed in the top row by the number of pieces placed in the side row. This will tell us how many pieces will be required to cover this shape. That means to know how many pieces will be required to cover this shape, we have to multiply 2 by 2. Am I right? Yes. Multiplying 2 by 2 will give us 4. That means 4 pieces are required to cover this shape. Yes. But madam, in this particular shape, we could just count and find out. Yes. In this particular shape, you could count and find out. But it is not so easy to count when there are very large shapes, such as your desk. In such situations, this method works better. Now we will try to measure the desk. Yes, go ahead. 18 pieces are placed on the top row of the desk and 6 on the side. So we multiply them to identify how many pieces will be required to cover the entire desk. We get 108 on multiplying 6 by 18. So does this mean that we will require 108 pieces to cover this desk completely? Yes. Wow, this method is very good. In this way, if we know the number of pieces used in the top row and the side row, we can find out the total pieces required. That is why I said, you don't need more pieces for this. Today we learned, by multiplying the pieces placed on the top row and the side row of any shape, you can find out how many pieces will be required to cover the shape completely. That is, to measure a shape, we don't need to cover the entire shape. We only require enough pieces to cover the top and side edges.